A lot of people have stereotype about food from the food truck. My main focus is to have fresh quality seafood. The key to be a good sushi chef, you need to be very patient. What I like about you know, street food is that there's no rules. I could be creative as I can, always thinking about the next level of sushi. America de sushi chef suru no wa sugoku a tanashi to moimas. Okay, I've got to answer the phone. Thank you for calling this Yoshis. I'm ordering for Maisi. I don't know if I pronounce it right. <laughs> My name is uh, Yoshimasa. My business name is called Yoshis. So I have been making sushi for over uh, 20 years now. When it comes to sushi, uh, I need to make sure that everything is uh, super clean because I serve raw fish, so I always take time, extra care. The whole concept is to serve uh, restaurant quality sushi from the food truck. The menu that I serve here is including uh, a lot of traditional rolls, spicy tuna, California rolls, salmon avocado rolls. The specialities of my business included the sea scallop. So I have uh, two orders of scallop. The scallop that I use uh, comes from Hokkaido, north part of Japan. First I butterfly and then open it and then lightly sear it on one surface, one side, and then make it into a nigiri form. And then dress with the homemade yuzu, pepper, uh, marmalade, and then finish with a little bit of olive oil and then the black uh, charcoal salt. It's open and it's sold out. We don't have a full sign actually. <laughs> the reason why I keep the menu small is so that I just prep enough uh, seafood and I buy enough for the day. All right. How are you doing? Good. How about you? Now we got that uh, creative salmon for you. Oh, that's nice. Nice. Pretty much I pick up fish every day. All right. Thank you. That, yeah, beautiful looking. Cool. Thank you. A little bit for you. My look at like the belly and then check the thickness of the, you know, right here. It's nice and thick. It's nice and fatty. The fish I source here is uh, mainly from uh, the uh, the company located in uh, Vancouver, Washington. I get salmon from Canada, avocado from Northwest, Oregon, scallop from the Hokkaido north part of Japan. The technique that I use at work is all traditional, authentic way, but I always finish with more towards fusion style. I use more local ingredients, vegetables also. So now I'm gonna make lime green with salmon, which is the most popular roll on the menu. Lime green roll has sesame spinach, cucumbers, roasted pepper, and then avocado on top. And then you can add salmon if you like, but top with the ginger miso and the microgreens. I think call myself as a chef flexible. I'm not stubborn when it comes to food. I'm always willing to learn, always willing to try something new. My background so different from any other chef that I'm always open to new techniques. The knife I'm using, this is the knife that my dad gave me when I was 18, 24 years ago. Like every time I yeah, use this knife, which I use every day, and uh, yeah, reminds me of uh, good memories in my hometown. I was born in Tokyo, Japan. So I have been making sushi for over 20 years now. My dad has been doing his business as a sushi chef for over 50 years. So when I was growing up, I never asked my dad how to make sushi. There's always something there that never made me interested. So after graduating from high school, I uh, decided to move to the States and then just learn English. I just wanted to move out of my hometown and see a different world. First city I moved in is called uh, Ashland in Oregon. So I picked a city so that I forced myself to speak English every day. There you go. Have a good day. I'm gonna make uh, the tamago, which is an egg omelet. So Japanese style omelet got bonito dashi broth and the sugar and then uh, the cooking sake and then mirin. I used to live in a dormitory. There was a cafeteria and then they have nothing but just hot dog, hamburgers. I love eating those food, but not every single day. So I got tired of eating same food and uh, ended up just cooking for my own. So uh, my mom sent me the uh, cooking books and then just learn. 
if you're in a bad mood or if you're in a hurry, I don't know why, but always it reflects to this type of work. So you can't make perfect tamago unless you're not feeling perfect. <laughs> After 10 months living in Ashland, I decided to move to uh, Santa Barbara. I needed a job, so I found one Japanese restaurant, and then that was the most popular restaurant in town. So if I worked in a restaurant, why not I pick the best restaurant in town? I lived in Santa Barbara for four years, but uh, I wanted to challenge myself, learn something more. So I decided to move to uh, Los Angeles and then ended up uh, working in a Japanese restaurant. So I met my wife, she was a server, I was a sushi chef, so it's a typical story, but that's when we started dating. Basically, I'm making uh, layers of tamago. So uh, it's the same process. It looks a lot easier than you think. So when you do it, it's actually very, very hard. A lot of people say, if you don't know how to make good tamago, you're not a good chef. So after I learned more skills from other chefs in Los Angeles, I became more interested. So I decided to just do this job for my living. Now I'm, I'm here in Portland, Oregon. All right. Arigato, thank you. So the community here is smaller than big cities, but there's always a strong community that everyone cares each other. I always feel like very strong connections between myself to this, uh, the area, which I really love. This is the one guest that brought me all this stuff, stamps and uh, everything. Like this, the Pikachu, all those. The first time we came, my wife suggested summertime. So it was beautiful, not too hot. First year I moved, 2014, just rained so much, it rained. So basically, uh, she tricked me. <laughs> so this is a salmon I just picked up at uh, Cascade Organic. I don't think a customer realized how much work before sushi is formed. I'll say uh, just making food is the uh, last 10% of the work. So 90% I think is all uh, prep work. After I moved to Poland, uh, the, I only worked one place. It's called a bamboo sushi. So I, yeah, I started as a sushi chef. I got promoted to be uh, like a manager. Basically what I did was make the uh, like training manuals and hiring chefs. Then I realized myself that for one year, I didn't even use my knife. I just missed using knives. So this one I used to cut the little bigger fish, like salmon. And then this is the sashimi knife I use. I asked my boss to demote me, so I became just a sushi chef. When I said that to my boss, he was very surprised that I, he thought I was out of mind or something. I was very happy that I made the decision. So without making that decision, I don't think I'm here now. It is a lot of work, a lot of time involved, but it's, it's, I think it's very rewarding work. And uh, yeah, I love my job. So I worked in bamboo for almost five years. Once it hits uh, fourth year, I started thinking about doing my own business. And then I started looking for options or like choices of what I could do. So, but you know, opening a restaurant is a lot of money involved. So I came up with the concept that why not I serve in sushi from the food truck. I've ordered for Cody, I've ordered for Kathy. And the way is Maxine. <laughs> So owning a food truck is a lot of work involved. Not only you need to be a chef, you have to deal with the cashier, you do all the cleaning, you do all the prepping. All right, thank you. So see you at five o'clock tonight. I started February 2019. Well, I had nothing else to do but watching YouTube and Netflix. We watched like four episodes a day. That's how slow it was. Even the first month was slow, but it was just too soon to judge if I should quit or not. So I was gonna wait at least a year till my business picks up. Yeah, I just kept working hard. Either Poland wrote me an article about my business. That's when I became uh, busy. Oh, five o'clock tonight? Okay. Uh, would you like to hear specials or you know what you like? Two seaweed salad and then one the special classic roll. 
Good. And now you can always call ahead, place an order. Are you in a hurry or? No, no, no. We have some big orders. Okay, that's fine. Yeah? Yeah. Are you open? We're sold out for lunch. Oh, you're sold out yeah. for lunch. Yeah. And okay. we'll be back open at 4 o'clock for dinner. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. Doing my own business, I work average like 12 hours to 14 hours a day. But uh, every time I receive good feedback from people, I was tired before, but as soon as I hear that my hard work paid off, yeah, makes me happy.